Constructed in 1969 as a general hospital with a bed capacity of 100, Atutur General Hospital in Kumi District now has to contend with a growing patient population. It currently admits more than 300 patients in the same old structures, which last received a facelift in 2018. The hospital's infrastructure is deteriorating with a leaking roof in some wards, including the labor ward. The facility serves a catchment population drawn from Komi, Palisa, Bukedia, Katakui and Ingora districts. Since 2018, the hospital has not had a functioning x-ray machine, which has frustrated efforts to deliver quality treatment, especially for patients who cannot afford x-ray services from private entities. The hospital's ultrasound machine is also non-functional. You're left to do uh, clinical care without imaging because imaging helps us with diagnosis but this is not possible with us especially if a patient is not able to afford this service outside we have to do a clinical judgment. Dr. Asio says they have been forced to refer patients to either Soroti or Mbale regional hospitals over 50 kilometers away for diagnosis. This causes delays in treatment. The time that it takes to reach there is something that really is detrimental to, this, to the health of the patient. With no isolation unit, both infectious and non-infectious patients are admitted in the same wards, increasing the risk of cross-infection. Imagine admitting a TB case in the ward. Well, we give instructions to the patient that put on your mask, but a human being is a human being. They cannot be on a mask when they are asleep, when they are awake. So at the end of the day, there is an element of cross-infection. Meanwhile, the hospital only has one functional theatre bed. I say this hospital is of 1969, and so that's how all the theatre space is. So, so that bed has to serve all conditions that come into the theatre, whether it is um, a C-section, an emergency or a non-emergency, they are all worked on in the same theatre bed, which also reduces the timeliness of uh, services. Despite the health risks associated with inhaling fumes from medical waste, the hospital continues to ban medical waste in an open area after its incinerator broke down in 2018. Please come to my rescue so that we help our people. The situation is categorically alarming. Relatedly, there is inadequate housing for staff with some male and female staff members forced to share accommodation leading to disagreements. One is in the sitting room, one is in the bedroom. There are a lot of social issues that it brings and we are always settling such problems. The entrance is one when you want to come out. So you find that it becomes difficult for all of us to contain it. 